Well, here I am in the desert exploring a little hill next to a glacial lake or what's left of it. That's all silted in there. But as I look around at the ground here, I go, man, this is maddening geology because, geez, every rock is broken. It's all frost. But then I realized that, you know, there's some harder material in here. And that ain't frost breakage. And really, what you see, all these little shiny things on the ground, that's all debitage. It took a while to realize it. Maybe some of it's geology. A lot of it's man-made. It's all over the place. So, I'm walking along looking for arrowheads, something I really want to find. And I am looking at these flaked rocks, big up an occasional stone tool, crude. I come to this thing and I go, and I've been shouting at the people who used to live here, why didn't you leave something nice for me to find? And it looks like this, somebody just put this down there. It's never to be moved. Of course, it's way so long ago. Who knows what kind of forces have been operating here. But I'm going to collect that. Don't tell anybody. Maybe this is worth a little bit of video since I just found a pretty nice, unfortunately broken blade. Right. Um, looks like something out of Africa. Anyway, um, here we are, same place. But I just wanted to show you these black patches in the, here. The desert, basically, the surface is sort of a tan color, but then there are these very tightly packed places where there's a lot of darker rock and I had a phone call so I was sitting on the ground and it caused me to look more carefully at this stuff and um, uh, the reason it's black here is it's all debitage it's all this stuff it's a uh, very nice con conchoidal fracture material don't know what to call it this stuff's all over that's what's making this dark colored and packed down. And well, here they are, going on over to my little hill. So you could look around up there, but maybe you're living over here, as it turns out. <sighs> I decided to just stand still a little bit more, because the ground is covered with stuff, and some of it is perhaps collectible. I mean, it's all beautiful, but in a limited kind of way. So many worked edges. It's hard to believe that these people were into projectile technology. See, I'll just walk along. You can look at the at the stuff. And this is all broken. All broken rocks. And there's this gray stuff that's garbage. Maybe they used it for something. I'm just going to walk until I see a, an edge I can show you. Well, give me a second. Be patient. <clears throat> well, here, just, just look at this. You recognize that kind of tool. These sorts of things. All these little, that's not a good example. Anyway, I have a few in my pocket. I guess that would be easier to show you than to describe it. Things like this. <clears throat> not very pretty. Not, not very collectible. Just, you know, totally distracting. Are there any arrowheads in here? I don't know. Doesn't seem very projectile in its nature.